No, that there is There is no fairness in the fact that you have a gun and your victim does not. There's no fairness there. No, no, not to not to follow a person if you're not Well, then how can you stick for Zimmer? I'm talking about... I'm, talk, I'm, I'm talking about any gated community in America that had eight burglaries in this specific amount of time, then I believe in Charles Bronson and the Death Wish movies. But again, I believe in vigilantism. Again, even... Because you got to protect your ass. Remember that. No. No? The gated community well, not so gated. can afford security. Then why were there eight burglars? Ah, because they had stooges like a Mr. Zimmerman, wannabe cop, neighborhood watch. He Come on, man. Shell out the money for security. So he was not a licensed security officer? No, he wasn't. He was out nothing. Okay, but... But he carried a gun. And he, and he left the premises of the gated community to follow Trayvon Martin. No, Trayvon Martin was going home. He lives there. He was only a short distance from his home. But but he does but, but but he doesn't Mr. live Zimmerman it. Don't was in don't, a car. don't protect the people that like to Mr. mug. Mr. Zimmerman that like to mug other people. Was in a car. No, Mr. I I got no no I can't I can't I can't I can't, I can't no 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 no. Was walking home from the Seven Eleven where he bought soda okay. and a. Did sale. he live in the gate? You see, Fritz the Cat told me not to rant and blow my stack because. Well, you're ranting and blowing. Because I can't help it. I'm hearing this this same, this pan this very pandering that I mentioned before. This this is the problem with progressive liberals. Did Trayvon Martin well, live in the gated community? Yes, he lived a short distance from where he was walking home. Where did uh, he was walking home? Where did Zimmerman live? I have no idea where he is, but he was in a car. He was out in the street. So, it was raining. Okay, regardless where exactly where Zimmerman or Trayvon Martin lived, the fact is that uh, Zimmerman was not a police is not a police officer he's not a licensed security officer and he was told and now correct me if I'm he was told by 911 not to follow pursue Trayvon Martin correct and and instigate or engage him in any way correct and that's on that's on that was record. that was recorded that's on record okay, cuz Sometimes, sometimes liberals exaggerate too, like like those crazy vegans. There's no exaggeration when I, as I tell you, one person has a gun and the other doesn't. So one person is is unarmed. And going and back to your thing about the women and the guy asking them out for a date, oh. that there again is a power thing. The guy with the gun has more power. How is it a power thing? Victim? If a guy is working in a company and there's a real hot-looking chick in his department, and he want and he and, and you know she and he wants he's over her. How is he over her? Because he's her boss. I'm not talking well, about the the supervisor. I just told you it's okay on the they both work on the line. They're equal if they're equal employees. Jeez. Well, then then that then that in that case the girl shouldn't have the ability to get the man fired. Unless he's a oh, supervisor. Exactly. But that, but they do it because of the law. I don't know that they do it or who they do because it with. Because of the laws that the, that the liberals know. created for this stupid sexual harassment uh, 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 issue. That hey, it ain't stupid. Is that like stupid with the uh, in the military where they're getting raped and all this shit no, and but, nothing ever but, gets but, done? But guys have been fired for just asking somebody out on a date. You don't know that. I know that. I was told. You were told that. I know that but for a fact. they may have gone further than that. Did you hear maybe, about the But story? maybe they're telling me the truth. Maybe not. Did you hear about the uh, person, the guy who was groping the woman next to him on the plane while she was sleeping? They do it in Japan, I hear. The men grope. Yeah, it happens. You remember the, the dentist that uh, used uh, 
What is that laughing stuff? Gas. Laughing gas to knock out his attractive female patients. Yeah. And they used to wake up with their blouse. Uh, a a to, screw. A little, yeah, a screw, a little, <laughs> uh, a little unbuttoned. <laughs> well, look, it goes on and on and on, but it goes overboard when it's one person's word against the other, and they automatically side with the woman's story. Now, why do they do that? Because Going it's back to because your, it's pandering. No. It's, Going back to your uh, it, affirmative action. It's pandering. Why do they do that? Automatically side with a, one side, one either gender or race and not the other? Yeah. Because they're given special treatment no. to certain groups of people. Because for thousands of years, the woman and the, the black or affirmative action has been screwed. So that's why you lean a little over backwards now for those who have been screwed. All right, so so if, a, so if a man has a job with a company, he has to wait until and hope that the female that he likes flirts with him and gives him signals, you know, gives him a, a, a safe signals. I've always done that. To wait for the girl to give you... I never move forward. To give you safe signals. That's correct. And, and if you don't get any signals coming from her, you cease and desist. Or if you're not her boss, maybe you can do something on the outside. Out of work. Yeah, or, 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 or talk, play just talk platonically to her. And Have a relationship and, grow. And maybe? see if, well, you got to be careful with the uh, friendship thing because what, what women will do often is they'll, they'll say... Some women will say, well, we, they, we, they want to take it real slow and start as friends, but sometimes the friendship thing just remains a friendship. Well, what's wrong with that? But they expect the guy to pay for everything. Well, not in a friendship. <laughs> That's dating. They want their cake and you eat see it. The new a lot of the, a lot see of the younger new... generation women, they use this scam that the guys are calling restaurant whores. Hey. Because they're, they're scamming guys, they make the man think they're on a date, but in reality, they have no intention of this man That's being... That's one of the problems with the dating scene, okay? The dating scene is crap in the first they place. They have no intentions on making this they man don't. her boyfriend, or sleeping, or sleeping with him, and they make him pay for these expensive dinners and drinks. You see the new eHarmony Hey, commercial? Fritz, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't help it. They, they, they suck me back in. As soon as I Every think I'm out, time I'm out, they, suck, they me back suck me back in. I have to rant. You see the new eHarmony? Oh, I can't commercial? stand that that president of eHarmony, that that pudgy faced psychologist. He's on dates with people. Oh, he's, he's right there oh, while the people oh, are dating. Oh, he's the goofball that picks up the the engagement ring and says, "Oh, you went with the platinum setting." <laughs> that's another. That's another scam when it comes to love. Jared commercials. The diamond is forever. Do you know there are so many diamonds in South Africa that De Beers Mining Company has to keep them off the market so the price won't go down. Deliberately, that's correct. Holds off on the exporting. Otherwise, diamonds will not be a precious gemstone any longer. The price will go way down to, to crap. And then they turn around and sell a diamond for a few thousand dollars. And if it's retail, forget it because it's not worth that. No, you'll never, you'll never get anywhere near that amount if you want to liquidate, sell your diamond. Mm -hmm. You'll get like a tiny fraction. But the point is, in America, there seems to be all sorts of unfair scams in many different forms, financially, either in or out of the dating scene, or emotionally, emotionally, in corporate, in business, in, in with politics. You know, you, you lie to the government, it's a felony. They lie to you, it's yeah, only... Yeah, if you're a little guy. It's only politics. Not if you're a big guy. It's only... Po what? If you lie to the government or if you do something wrong or you're on Wall Street, you're okay, buddy. Hey, the SEC is now going after a guy who has a hedge fund. Yeah. During the 2007, 2008, when oh. all these crooks were rampaging oh, on Wall crap. Street, the SEC did nothing. Did nothing. Really? That's correct. And now they also found out that the um, 
the big the banks who were lending out money for to people for mortgages they pressured the appraisers to come up with bigger appraisals in other words if your house was actually uh, 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 worth two hundred thousand dollars they wanted their appraisers to say four hundred thousand really yeah it was all a bunch of crookedness that's that's and how it's still going on that's how America seems to be right today a bunch of crookedness everything's corrupt even dating. What's that? I just mentioned that. This is what guys are going through. What's that scripture on the newsletter? He who makes haste to be rich shall not be innocent. Correct. Oh, by the way, I found those other verses about the rich. Versus, 10, 2 and 10, 8. The rich versus the poor. The in, wicked. The wicked. The poor. Yeah, yeah uh, in Psalms. And I also posted 1 Timothy, that, that section of 1 Timothy. The latter days. Uh, she was a chapter six, verses six through ten. Yeah. No uh, natural affection. No, that's two Timothy. That's two. This Timothy. one had to do with money, with the poor and the rich. Oh yes, the uh, the root of all. Evil. Yeah, the root of all evil. That's there. I put I put it all underneath the front. Of I didn't see anything yesterday. Let me finish. I put it all under the front cover of a hard hitting truth. Uh, uh, Facebook group that we have called the Hard Hitting Truth. It's under you know the the Satan on the dollar bill. I saw it. It's it's all the verses are in the description. Uh -huh. It's all there. I, I like to keep everything in order so I never forget or lose anything. So what I do is I keep the important things right in the description of the uh, the group or the page front cover, as not to lose it. It's like having a filing cabinet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this is the thing. It's all unfairness. Scammers everywhere. Uh, uh, girls scamming guys for free uh, uh, dinner and drinks instead of paying. And they want to be equal. They want to be independent, but they don't want to pay their own way when they when they first meet a, a, a new man. Same thing, corporations. Scamming, lying, cheating, deregulation of companies. It goes on and on and on and on. Everybody has an agenda. Everybody wants. Everybody wants special treatment, uh, um, extorting money and favors, cronyism. Uh, it's the devil's world. It's it's becoming a lawless society. Ha! Hey, you can go back to ancient Israel for lawlessness. The hell do you think God keep punishing them all the time for? Because they 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 did away with the law. They didn't want to listen to his statutes. They didn't want to have obey him. They didn't want it to do. They wanted to worship other gods. Gods made with your hands. So Idols. All, so all the work. Calves. So all the work that Moses did was like in vain, practically. In vain, yes. David. Because Israel, and of course the modern day descendants thereof, were always a stiff-necked people. Who thought they knew it all? Arrogant, yeah. Arrogant. Well, people tell me the Israelis today are very arrogant and aloof, and think they they're the best. Well, the Israelis today that think, you're talking think about think they're the best. Are only one tribe, the Judah. The other modern day descendants of ancient Israel are other countries like America, the UK, then, Scandinavia. Then how countries. come? Um, how come when uh, back in the day when I used to cut fish, fillet fish, process seafood for a living, uh, which is when I first met Dr. Bill many, 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 many moons ago, every time an Israeli customer would come up to the counter, they would be screaming and demanding, and and they want special treatment. What the hell does that have to do with anything? I said. It's called a the pattern, Israelis brother. Israelis in the pattern. Middle East today right. represent only one tribe, Judah. Listen, there were, are twelve tribes. They were cursed by God, correct? Who? Eventually, the tribes of Israel. Yes, they were blessed by Him for a couple of hundred years, and then cursed. And then cursed. They were only blessed because of Abraham, not because of anything they did, but the promise to Abraham. That's all. So God had to uh, 
uh, you know, uh, come clean yeah. on his problem. So he kept on trying and trying and trying, and it was of no use. It was all in vain. And uh, maybe that's why they were persecuted. It still is in vain. Persecuted and suffering for all these uh, hundreds of years, blah, 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 blah. But getting back to the other thing, the, the vileness of human nature with its selfishness and its, its wickedness and its greed, it, 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 it emerges in all aspects of our modern life. Mm -hmm. All of it. I mean, uh, friends that live in third world countries tell me how corrupt their governments are. Mm. Uh, I, said, I said to them, well, things are not so great in Washington either <laughs> when it comes to corruption. I mean, it seems like it's worldwide. That, that it is. You know, and, and it even goes down to the common folk. Even they're corrupted. It could be, it could be a, a crime, you know, it could be petty crimes, it could be burglaries, muggings, it could be a, a gang activity, it could be, uh, like we mentioned before, with dating, you know, men being scammed, uh, just so a, a female who's not who's not a US citizen can get a permanent green card, you know, using American men for a green card, uh, using men as suckers for free uh, dinners and drinks, and that's it. And then they go on and do it to another man. It's across the board, it's completely across the board. There's a pattern here with human nature. The vileness, the sinfulness of human nature. No, human nature is in fact the devil's nature. Now, you know, babies are not born with human nature. They acquire it. Yeah. You see what I was telling Fritz, the cat who... Fritz the cat! Who has his own show. He's a producer of his own show now in Time Warner. Um, uh, Orange County, Hudson Valley, New York. So I'm, I'm proud of him. He, he got a promotion. Uh, he's a progressive liberal like us too. And he's a very intelligent man. But he's, he probably doesn't like the ranting because his show is on regular cable TV. Regular Time Warner cable TV. Access. Where, public access where there's FCC and maybe sponsors, you know. Or just the cable alone. They have their own rules and regulations. Right. In other words, do you think they have rules that... Um, that uh, uh, make them very concerned with offending anyone? They are, quite, they are very conservative in their nature. In other words, they're, they're afraid of offending any one group of they people. They will never hire Howard Stern. Come on, I can never finish a sentence. They will never hire Howard Stern. Correct. In other words, somebody who shoots straight from the hip and who's honest. Somebody who, who believes in speaking his mind, like Howard Stern. And is perceived as obscene and dirty. But Howard, etc. when Howard is uh, speaking about a serious subject, Howard can be very serious and very well, we, that's it, very point. informative. Even when he's not he's speaking perceived. about a serious subject, he's still being truthful. There's yeah, the problem. Oh, yeah. There is the problem. Truth is not respected in the world, not only this country, the world. So when you're dealing with public access, cable TV, they, they want to please everybody. They don't, want to, they don't want to offend or alienate any one particular group. So if, if Fritzy says something like what we say here, uh, even though a particular group may be proven guilty, 100% guilty, uh, th then all of a sudden they get offended, and mm -hmm. if they get offended, the people in the neighborhood might protest the station. Might even not have to come to that. They might just, you know, bye-bye. Cancel the show. That's it. See, there you go. That's why he's, he's telling me not to rant and rave. Exactly. You know. He's telling you of very important truth. If you want to get ahead in the America of today, then you will abide by what he's telling you. 
and be a pussy. Well, define it any way you want. The point of it is, it's like Bill Clinton and the New Democrat. The New Democrat? If Bill Clinton is a corporatist back right? then in 92 or whatever mm -hmm. would have been a real Democrat, he would have never got elected or selected. Or signed Glass-Steagall. Well, that has nothing to do with that. But the point of it is, he would have never got elected. Because you have to be a corporatist. And if he wasn't a corporatist, he would not have gotten campaign contributions. That's correct. And he would have not been elected. Clear and simple. What about your dignity and sticking by the truth and nothing but the truth? What the hell is dignity compared to a bank account in America today? Remember what I was saying before about sickening sycophants in the, in the progressive liberal race uh, community? It's alive and well, people. I'm, it's alive and well. I will not cave in. You could, you could do whatever you want and you could have a massive Bill Gates bank account if you want. Mm. I will not cave in and, and, and kiss ass. That's it. Oh, what is dignity compared to a, a bank account? Correct. That's how it's viewed today. <laughs> you see, you see why the two-party system is complete failure? It's not a two-party system. Yes, it's it human, is a two-party system. It's human being. You know how many you know how many groups out there and and Facebook organizations they still think that the Democratic Party is are the good guys. Yeah, they're populist. And and, and 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 they you know and they think Bill and Hillary are you know so peachy keen and everything. Mm -hmm. I try to tell them the the the, the problem is the two-party system. They're mm -hmm. basically paid off, sold out. But they still are die-hard Democrat supporters. Because you got that thing about the lesser evil. And and it's, a, well, why do, like Jesse Ventura says, why do we have to settle for the lesser of the two evils? Because that's the system. Why do we have to have capitalism? Because that's the system. Well, what is that? Does that mean you have to uh, 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 pretend to like it and, uh, and agree with it? Because no. you're worried about your damn bank account? No. If it, it's as the Bible says, if you become part of the world, then you're not part of Him. So you got a choice to make. That's why I say independent progressives don't go to party. That's politics. You're just talking politics. Right. All right. We're not supposed to have parties. We're supposed to have people <sighs> and policies. And these policies, policies, and these policies are supposed to be fair. They're supposed to be fair, and people are supposed to have access to them. How are you going to know about somebody and his policies? Not under this system. Listen, even look, even with disabled, do you think I like going to a into a pulling into a huge parking lot of um? It could be a Lowe's, it could be a Home Depot, it could be a supermarket and have the entire front section of the, the, the parking lot, the whole thing, with handicap signs. Instead of five, four, five, or seven of them, the whole thing from pillar to post is all handicap signs. I've seen it. Well, there's a lot of handicapped people. This well, is I pandering, man. Oh, give the woman the job. Give the black the job. Blah, 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 blah. Give the gay the job. Uh, I have it all handed straight across 50 feet of, of uh, or 100 feet of handicap signs. Sure. I what don't know if I What the hell is wrong with that? Why can't there be the, the, the usual seven signs or five signs? It what? depends. The number depends upon the place. If they feel that they need 15, then they got 15 at Yankee Stadium. Well, that's different. Yankee Stadium. No, that's no, not different. It's, it's, that's big capacity. Yeah. Well, obviously, Lowe's has a you know a big capacity. Somebody Lowe's. made that decision to have the whole thing straight yeah. across. Well, what that? But the point is, what's wrong with that? That's not pandering. I I. Well, it just makes other people walk a little farther. Ah! And as well they should, and be blessed that they have two 
freaking good legs. Yeah, that's true. Huh? That's true. Yeah. Well, I always park far because I don't want some jabroni ramming their their uh, yeah, but don't park shopping cart into my car and slamming the door into my car. Yeah, I don't. park. I don't believe me. I don't mind walking. If, if if my car is out of the way and away from everybody, I walk. That's not a problem. I know. I know there are lazy people that don't like yeah, to but walk. You don't want to walk. You don't want to park too far away that somebody has good access to your car. No, you know you, what I mean? You, the speed. You want to keep it under a lamp yeah. if it's nighttime. Or the cameras from the place. Yeah. That's true, which yeah. you generally on the lamp posts, I would imagine. Yeah. You know, and uh, stuff like that. Um, but walking is good exercise. Of course it is. And we wouldn't have these fat asses going into Walmart here if some of them did a little more walking. Well, we have an obesity problem in America because the big food industries are allowed to sell their crap. There's a sugar addiction in the United States and uh, everything is designed to keep the American not so healthy and not so physically oh, fit. Oh, if he's healthy, he won't need those drugs. You see, it's a revolving door. It goes Ooh. around and around and around. You know, someone told me the other day, uh, they have a cancer condition, proclivity, whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they had sugar, mm -hmm. and they have sugar. Yeah. And of course, I would say, well, you know, sugar is not very good in, in in your condition right now. Oh crap! And I was told oh, that, but why you can't avoid sugar? Well, certainly you can avoid it. You can avoid it by you stevia. <laughs> no, what the hell do you need sugar in the first place for? Hey, I do fine with ice water and lemon juice as a refreshing drink. How about watermelon juice and lemon juice and rice milk as a smoothie? Well, rice milks and almond milks and soy milks. I don't um, know about the soy because of the GMO. Yeah, they should really yeah. start using stevia because many of them have corn syrup. Well, what the hell do you need stevia for? For the smoothie? If, well, I mean, not, no, not the fruit. Uh, mm -hmm. um, well, just because you, you make a frozen fruit smoothie, that doesn't always mean there is plenty of fruit sugar in there to make it taste good. You know, sometimes you Why have not? to add a little bit of stevia. Why not? Uh, you know, if you need it, you need it. But the point is, it, you, you know. It, yeah. uh, but the, the rice milks, the, the